Hey yoga friends, I hope you're all healthy and happy and well and hopefully ready for a little bit of fun and a little bit or a lot of movement. So welcome if you haven't practiced with me before and welcome back if you are here all the time. This is going to be a fun, funky, definitely a little bit spicy in places vinyasa yoga flow. If you do enjoy this class, then I would be really grateful if you could give it a big thumbs up when you reach the end to let me know you enjoyed it. Leave a comment letting me know what you thought and don't forget to subscribe so that we can practice together again very soon. If you are ready for some action, then make your way onto your mat. We will be starting in a child's pose today and you can find a nice wide child's pose or a narrow one if that's what feels best. So knees as wide as the mat or knees together. Then lots of options through the arms as well. You might extend them straight out in front of you. You might stack the hands, make a little pillow to rest the head on. Maybe reach the arms towards the back of the mat. Whatever shape you're in, just try and make sure that the weight of the head is supported by something, whether that's by your hands, by the earth, by a block. This will just help you settle into things a little bit more easily. You can let go of tension through the upper body, through the face, the shoulders. So take a little body scan here. Notice if you're still gripping or tensing or holding on to anything in the body that you don't need to carry with you through this practice. So checking in with the forehead, the space between the eyebrows, noticing if you're furrowing your brow or scrunching up the forehead. Maybe you can find a little bit of softness and relaxation there. Let the awareness drift down towards the teeth, the jaw, the lips. Notice if you're really clenching through the teeth or pressing the tongue anywhere in the mouth. If there's tension through the jaw. How does it feel to let that go? The awareness carries on traveling down towards the shoulders and the neck. Notice if you're hunching the shoulders up by the ears, notice how that feels. And then notice if it feels any different once you start to soften the shoulders down and away from the ears, when you start to find a little bit more space and softness. Let the awareness carry on drifting down into the torso, the belly, the chest. Noticing how even here in stillness, there is movement in the body, how the breath brings movement, creates space with every breath in, then releases, creates a little bit more softness and relaxation with every breath out. Sending that tension out of the body as you send out each exhale. Working to expand the breath in all directions so the entire torso fills from top to bottom, left to right, front to back. Then slight engagement through the core to release all of the breath as you exhale. Let the awareness carry on drifting down into the hips and the legs, letting the hips be heavy, dropping back towards the heels or towards the mat. Noticing any sensations that are present there. Noticing where the legs are connected to the surface beneath you. 
maybe noticing the texture of the mat beneath you, the temperature, the sense of pressure. Noticing how it feels to be grounded and connected to that stable foundation of the earth beneath you. Just a few more breaths in stillness before we begin to move. If they're not already, extend the arms straight out in front of you, spread through the fingers, press the palms into the floor, have a little wiggle through the shoulders from side to side, maybe movement through the neck. Now keep the hands grounded, keep the knees grounded, start to lift the hips away from the heels, then drop the thighs, the belly down to the floor, lift the chest into a high cobra pose, then roll all the way down onto the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, wave it back round the spine, drop back into a child's pose. Inhale, snake your way forwards, high cobra. Exhale, melt down to the floor. Inhale, ripple your way up. Exhale, wave it back, child's pose. One more like that, find the fluidity, breathe in, bring it forwards, open through the chest. Exhale, melt the chest down. Keep it moving, big breath in, ripple back up. Big breath out, press it back into child's pose. This time, inhale, snake it forwards, pause in your high cobra. Think about drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears as you lift the ribs up and away from the hips. So really lengthening through the spine. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, lower the forearms onto the floor. Maybe walk the elbows a little bit further forward so the shoulders are stacked above the elbows. Inhale here in your sphinx pose. Tuck under the toes. As you exhale, lift the hips, lift the knees into a forearm plank. Keep the toes tucked under. Drop the knees back down. Inhale, open through the chest, sphinx pose. Exhale, lift the lower body into forearm plank. Three more. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, lift, engage through the core. Last two, big breath in, big breath out. One more time. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades apart as you lift up, pause here in your forearm plank. Lift the right foot to hover above the floor. Tap the right knee to the right elbow. Bring the leg back to hover. Drop the toes back down. Lift the left toes, knee to elbow, back to hover. Take it back down. One more each way, right side up, squeeze in. Take it back, drop it down last time to the left. Elbow taps, take it back, drop it down. Take one last inhale here. Exhale, drop the hips down. Slide the hands in line with the ribs. Press your way up into a tabletop. Hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round through the spine. Keep it moving, blossoming open with every breath in and rounding with every breath out. You might stay with the traditional cat-cow or you might start to take things in a different direction. Maybe give the hips a little wiggle from side to side, maybe spin the torso round in circles. Finding whatever movements you need to open up any parts of the body that feel tense or tight or stuck. However you're moving, just try and synchronize the movement with the breath. Five 
find your way back to a neutral spine. I'm gonna shimmy a little bit over towards the left side of the mat just because I need the space. But if you've got enough space each side of you to stick out an arm and a leg, then stay where you are. And that's your clue as to where we're going. So on your next breath in, lift the right leg off the earth, parallel to the floor. Then tap the right toes over to the outside of the left leg. Then swing the leg as far as you can over to the right hand side, tap the toes down. Swing it over to the left, making a rainbow with the leg. Tap to the right. Let's do three more. Swing to the left, over to the right. Last two. This time when the leg swings out to the right hand side, keep it hovering with the right heel in line with the right hip. Then start to lift the left arm, extend it straight out to the left hand side. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. One more inhale. Drop the left hand under the left shoulder, keep the right leg lifted. Then drop the right leg straight out to the right hand side, heel in line with the right hip. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. As you exhale, round the spine and lift the right leg to hover. Inhale, drop the right foot, drop the belly. Exhale, round and lift the leg. Let's do just one more. Big breath in, big breath out. Drop the right foot down, walk the hands forward, melt the chest down for a puppy pose with the inner thigh stretch. Thread the left arm underneath the right arm, drop onto the left ear and the left shoulder, find the twist, take a big inhale, big exhale. One more big breath in, big breath out. Unravel the left arm, extend it long. Walk the hands underneath the shoulders, then press up off the hands so that you're kneeling on the left shin, right leg straight out to the side. Turn the right toes to point out to the right hand side. Keep the hands on the hips and bend into the right knee. So it's like a warrior two, but with the left knee down, straighten the right knee and bend. Keep it moving, inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop it down. One more, breathe in, breathe out. Bring it up, keep the right leg straight, turn the right toes forward once again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, slide the right hand down the right leg. Maybe you can even reach towards the heel. Take it over to the other side, drop the left hand down, reach the right arm up and over then keep it moving. Take it over to the right, breathe in, over to the left, breathe out. One more time, big inhale, big exhale. Take it over to the left and pause there. Take a big breath in, then as you breathe out, lift the left knee off the floor and squeeze it into the right elbow. Four more like that, inhale, tap the knee down, reach the arm long, exhale, squeeze in, inhale, exhale. Last two, big breath in, big breath out. One more time, inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze in, pause there, bring the right hand onto the left knee and pull the knee to point up towards the ceiling, breathe in, breathe out. Now slide the right hand down towards the outside edge of the left foot. Maybe start to straighten the leg and kick the foot into the right hand. Keep the hips nice and high, breathe in, breathe out. Release the grip on the foot, drop the left knee back to the floor, push your way back upright, reach the arms up and overhead, place the hands underneath the shoulders. Swing the right leg back out behind you, keep it hovering above the floor. Reach the left arm forward, breathe in. Tap the right toes and the left fingertips down to the floor, breathe out. Inhale, lift and extend. Exhale, lower and tap. Big breath in, lift. 
breathe out lower. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Place the left hand under the left shoulder, keep the right leg extended out behind you, press the right heel towards the back of the room and rock forwards and backwards on the right tiptoes, stretching through the calf. Keep the right leg exactly as it is. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. As you exhale, lift the left knee from the floor, squeeze it into the nose. Inhale, drop the knee, drop the belly. Exhale, lift the knee, round the spine. Keep it moving, inhale, open. Exhale, round. Last two, big breath in. Big breath out, squeeze in, pause there. Maybe if you want an extra challenge, start to lift the left hand off the floor, reach it towards the front of the room, take a big breath in. Exhale, drop the left hand, drop the left knee, bring the right knee back under the right hip, tabletop position. Give the hips a little wiggle from side to side, maybe work through a few rounds of cat-cow to reset before we move on to the second side. As you're ready, inhale and lift the left leg off the earth parallel to the floor. Tap the toes over and behind to the right. Then as far as you can over to the left. Keep it moving, swing right, swing left. Three more times, breathe in. Breathe out. Last two, full inhale and full exhale. One more time to the right, then swing them to the left, keep the leg lifted this time. Heel in line with the hip, leg parallel to the floor. Then reach the right arm straight out to the right hand side, breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale, right hand under right shoulder, left leg straight out to the left hand side, toes point forwards. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine, lift the left leg off the floor. Just two more, inhale, open, expand. Exhale, contract and round. Last time, big breath in, big breath out. Slowly lower the left foot back to the floor, out to the side. Walk the hands forward and melt the chest down. Slide the right arm under the left arm. Drop the ear and the shoulder to the earth. Find a few big deep breaths. Unravel, extend both arms long for one last moment. Then press your way up, lift the hands off the floor, bring them onto the hips. Stack the head over the heart, over the hips. Turn the left toes out to the left hand side. Bend into the left knee and straighten. Four more times, bend and lift. Drop the hips nice and low. Bring them up two more times. Last time, deepest bend yet. Bring it back up, turn the toes back to point forwards, reach the arms all the way up. As you inhale, slide the left hand down the left leg, reach the right arm up and over. Exhale, right hand to the floor, reach the left arm up and over. Inhale over to the left. Exhale, sweep it to the right. Let's do two more, big breath in. Big breath out. Last time, inhale to the left. Exhale to the right and pause there. Breathe in, breathe out, lift the right knee off the mat, tap it to the left elbow. Inhale, drop the knee, reach the arm. Exhale, squeeze in. 
three more. Breathe in, breathe out. Last two, full inhale, full exhale. One more time, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze in, pause. Bring the hand onto the knee, pull the knee, oop, pull the knee up and into the chest. Slide the left hand to the outside of the right foot. Kick the foot into the hand, straighten the leg, maybe. Keep drawing right shoulder away from right ear. Take a big breath in. Breathe out, release the knee back to the floor. Push your way upright. Lower the hands underneath the shoulders. Swing the left leg behind you. Keep it hovering above the floor. Reach the right arm forwards. Tap the fingertips and the toes to the earth. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower for three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last two. Last one. Now drop the, left, the right hand under the right shoulder. Drop the left toes to the back of the mat for the, the quad stretch, the calf stretch. Rock forwards and backwards on the left hip toes. Keep the left leg as it is. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, lift the right knee, squeeze it into the nose. Inhale, drop and open. Exhale, lift and round, keep it moving. Expanding with your breath in, contracting with your breath out. Last two, inhale, exhale. One more time, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze the knee into the nose, pause. Maybe reach the right arm towards the front of the room, super challenging. Drop the right hand down, drop the right knee, drop the left knee, tabletop position, take a big breath in, open, broaden, find the expansion. Big breath out, round, find the contraction. Find your neutral tabletop position, tuck under the toes, Lift the knees to hover a few inches above the floor. Reach the right arm towards the front of the room. Place the hand back down. Reach the left arm to the front of the room. Place the hand back down. Extend the right leg out behind you. Drop the toes down. Left toes behind you. Drop back down. This time, maybe extend right arm and left leg. Drop them down, right leg, left arm, drop them down. Take one last inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here in silence to settle in. Find any movement that feels good. Find your way back to your neutral downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift the heels as high as you can off the mat, then cut, drop both heels over to the left hand side. Straighten the right knee, bend deeply into the left knee. Now reach the right arm back, up and over, extend the right fingertips towards the front of the room. Then drop the right hand back down, Lift the heels, swivel them over to the other side. Bend the right knee, straighten the left knee. Sweep the left fingertips back, up and forward. Push the hips back, reach the arm forwards. Drop the hand down, swivel back to neutral. Inhale, ripple forwards, high plank. Exhale, snake it back, downward dog. Two more, inhale, bring it forwards. Exhale, snake it back. Last time, big breath in and big breath out. 
inhale, sweep the right leg high, three-legged dog, then drop the right foot down, just one foot step distance in front of the left. Same with the left leg, inhale, sweep it high, exhale, drop it down. See if you can keep the legs straight for as long as possible as you drop the foot down. Inhale, right leg up, exhale down, inhale, left leg up, exhale down. I've just got one more step each way to get to the top, so take as many as you need until you land in a fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, press the hands into the shins. Exhale, forward fold. Two more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last time, big breath in to expand. Big breath out, soften back down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, press the hands together at heart center. Inhale here, sigh it out through the mouth as you exhale. Standing onto the right foot, spread through the toes, find some grounding through that foot. Start to squeeze the left knee into the chest without using the hand. See how far you can get it in without gripping it. Circle through the left ankle like you're stirring up a pot with the foot. Switch direction. Big circles with the knee. Switch direction. Now straighten the leg out in front of you. Take some big circles with the whole leg. Switch direction. Now squeeze the left knee back into the chest. Right hand onto right hip. Left piece finger and thumb reaches down for the left big toe. Kick the foot into the hand, extend it to any amount straight out in front of you. Then take the leg out to the side. Bring it back in front. Take it out to the left. One more each way, bring it forwards. Take it out to the left, keep it out to the left, release the grip on the toe, bring the hands to the heart, see if you can keep the leg lifted. Swing it back in front of you, keep it lifted. Take it to the left, swing it forward. Last time each way, to the left. Bring it forward, keep the knee lifted. Squeeze it into the chest. As you inhale, Drop the left toes to the back of the mat and bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, dropping into a twisted crescent lunge. We'll take it slow this first time round. Then step back onto the right foot and spin the opposite way. Tap right elbow to left knee. Inhale, drop the left toes down, twist to the right. Exhale, left knee to chest, twist to the left. Three more, big breath in, big breath out. Ooh. <laughs> last two, inhale, if you fall, it's okay. Exhale, last time, big breath in, big breath out, squeeze in, pause there. Keep the twist to the left hand side, keep the knee squeezing in, but open the arms out wide. Right arm forward, left arm back. Keep the arms as they are. Take a big step back with the left toes, landing in a warrior two. Find a deep bend through the right knee. Settle in, find your ground, find your alignment. Inhale, straighten the right leg, press the palms up and overhead. Exhale, drop it back down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, drop it down. Last time, inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. This time, inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the right leg. Exhale, triangle. Lower the right hand down, sweep the left arm up. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the left hand down, open the right arm up. Drop the right hand down, 
open the left arm up, keep it moving. Twist open and up to the right. Drop it down, bring it back up to the left. One more each way, left hand down, right arm up. Right hand down, left arm up. Now bring, if you can, the right piece fingers and thumb around the right big toe. Bring the left hand behind the back, wrap it around either the hip or the right thigh. Then see if you can keep the binds as you take a big step or 10 steps onto the right foot and lift the left leg so it's parallel to the floor for half moon with the double bind. So it's harder to find our ground when we've got the fingers around the left, the right big toe. So just do what you can. If you fall, it doesn't matter. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Unwind from the bind, open the left arm up towards the sky. Release the grip on the right big toe, but bring the right hand to hover above the floor. Lower the left hand down, square the hips. Open the right arm up, floating revolved half moon. Right hand down, left arm up, add a Chandrasana. Left hand down, right arm up, Parivrita, add a Chandrasana. Last time, right hand down, left arm up. Drop it back into warrior two. And as you do, lift the right heel to hover above the floor. So just on the right tiptoes. Stay on the tiptoes, inhale, straighten the right leg. Bring the palms to press up and overhead. Then drop the right heel and bend the left knee, lower into skandasana at the back of the mat. Now press your way back up. Drop the right toes, lift the right heel, open the arms out wide, then drop the heel, lower yourself down into Skandasana. One more time, bring it up, lift the heel, drop it low, lift the heel, pause in your Skandasana, lower the right hand down, spin onto the right tiptoes, reach the left arm up for a twisted lunge at the back of the mat. Swing the left leg to stack on top of the right leg, side plank on the right hand side. Bend the left knee, squeeze the heel into the glute, then drop the left toes off the mat, push your way up into a wild thing. Inhale here. Exhale, drop the hips down, look to the front of the room. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, drop them down. Last time, inhale, lift up. This time, exhale, plank at the back of the mat. Drop the left hand down, drop the left toes down, breathe in, breathe out. Lift the right leg to hover above the floor. Right knee, right elbow. Back to hover, drop the toes down. Left leg lifts, knee to elbow. Take it back, drop it down. One more each way, lift right, squeeze. Take it back, drop it down. Left, squeeze, back and down. Inhale, onto the tiptoes, exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, a few breaths here in silence. Inhale, lift the heels, come up onto the tiptoes. Exhale, heels to the left, toes to the right. Bend the left knee, straighten the right knee. Inhale, sweep the right fingertips back, up, forwards, press the hips back, reach the arm forward. Drop the right hand down. Lift the heels, drop them over to the other side. 
sweep the left fingertips back, up, forwards, drop them down, spin back to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, take one foot step forward with the left foot. To the right, breathe in, drop it down, breathe out. Keep on walking to the top of the mat, sweeping the legs up as you make your way forwards. Then we'll all meet in a forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, melt back down, forward fold. Two more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last time, big breath in to lift. Big breath out to lower. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, press the hands to prayer at heart center. Keep the hands at the heart. Squeeze the right knee into the chest, just using the strength of the leg to lift it. Circle through the ankle. Switch direction. Circle through the knee. Switch direction. Straighten the leg, circle with the whole leg. Switch direction. Squeeze the knee into the chest. Left hand to left hip, right piece finger and thumb to right big toe. Kick the leg out in front of you. Open it out to the side. Bring it back forwards. Keep it moving to the right, straight ahead. To the right, straight ahead. This time, take it out to the right and hold, keep it there. Release the grip on the foot, bring the right hand to the hip, keep the leg lifted. Point the toes forwards, back out to the side. Oh, I've got that cramp, right forwards. Take it out to the side. Last time, forwards, and then squeeze the knee into the chest. Bring the palms to touch at heart center. As you inhale, Big step back with the right toes, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Exhale, step your way back up, right knee to chest, right, left elbow to right knee. Four more, inhale, drop it back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, exhale. Last two, big breath in. Big breath out, one more time, inhale, exhale, bring the knee up and in, pause in the twist, left arm forward, right arm back, big step with the right toes into your warrior two on the left side, deep bend through the left knee. Inhale, straighten the left leg, Press the palms together. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it down. Last time, big breath in, big breath out. This time, inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Left hand down, right arm up, breathe in. Right hand down, left hand up, breathe out. Keep it moving. Open up to the right. Take it down, twist to the left. Move with your breath, keep it going. Next time you open the right arm up, pause there. Bring the left piece fingers and thumb to interlace around the left big toe. Wrap the right arm behind the back towards left hip, left thigh. Then maybe keep the bind and take as many steps as you need to step onto the left foot. Lift the right leg off the earth. Add a Chandrasana with two binds. 
binding the foot, binding the hip. If you fall, it doesn't matter. Start to unravel the right arm, reach it up towards the ceiling. Unravel the left hand, but bring the hand to hover. Right hand down, left arm up. Maybe both hands are still hovering. Left hand down, right arm up, keep it moving. Drop right, lift left, drop left, open right. Let's do one more each way. To the left, left hand down, right arm up. Drop it into your warrior two, maybe gracefully, maybe not. Lift the left heel off the floor. Straighten the left leg. Keep the heel lifted, press the palms overhead. Then drop the heel as you drop it down into Skandasana over to the right hand side. Bring it back up to your tiptoe, warrior two. Straight on the leg, drop the heel, drop it to the right. Last time, bring it up, drop it down, pause in your Skandasana. Left hand down, right arm up, easy twist to the front of the mat. Swing the right leg to stack on top of the left leg, Vashistasana, side plank. Bend the right knee, squeeze the heel into the glute, drop the toes behind you, push the hips, push the heart high, wild thing. Inhale here, exhale, drop the hips, look to the back of the room. Inhale, lift the hips, reach the arm up and over. Exhale, drop the hips, reach the arm back. This time, inhale, lift the hips up, roll into plank, as you exhale, inhale, lift the right toes, exhale, right knee, right elbow, inhale, take it back, exhale, drop it down, left side, inhale, squeeze, exhale, take it back, drop it down, this time inhale, right leg up, exhale, right knee, right elbow, maybe stay there or maybe launch into hurdler's pose. Maybe straighten the right leg out to the side. Sadly, I have a wall in the way as usual. Drop the left toes back down, swing the right leg back to hover, three point plank. Drop the right toes back down. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Maybe you fly. Drop the right toes down, left leg back to hover, left toes down. Inhale, shift forwards, exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Whew. Exhale, downward facing dog. That had my arms burning there. Take a few deep breaths here to reset. Find your breath. Inhale, ripple forwards into high plank, then option to take it straight back to down dog or exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Two more like that. Inhale forwards. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, wave it back. Last time, big breath in, come forwards. Big breath out to lower. Inhale, broaden through the chest. Exhale, wave it back, downward dog. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Next place we meet is seated. You can either step, hop, jump, float, fly your way through. Maybe it was graceful, maybe it wasn't, doesn't matter either way. When you arrive, find a nice tall spine here. Bring the left 
shin towards the floor, so like a half cross leg. Sole of the right foot on the floor, right knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Then lift the right foot off the floor and bring the hands to interlace underneath the right foot. Start to kick the foot into the hands for heron pose. Keep your spine nice and tall here. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, open through the chest. See if you can keep the leg lifted, but release the grip. Reach the fingertips forwards. Bring left hand to the outside of the right foot. Open the right arm up behind you. Find your twist. Again, see if you can release the grip. Keep the leg lifted. Bring the hand back onto the foot and deliver the right foot towards the top of the left thigh for half lotus and then maybe come into full lotus, bringing the left foot to the top of the right hip. Press the hands into the thighs, draw the shoulders down, lift the chest high. Then place the hands either side of the hips, maybe lift the hips, the legs, lift everything off the mat. Drop everything back down to the floor. Now see if you can rock back ever so slightly to give yourself the momentum to roll up onto the knees. See if you can pause here, just hovering on the knees. Maybe bring one hand to one thigh. Maybe the other hand to the other thigh. See if you can balance. It might just be for even just a single half second, a millisecond. Ooh. Then place the hands on the floor underneath the shoulders. See if you can tuck the elbows underneath your belly, underneath the ribs. And then maybe you start to lift the legs off the floor. Play around with the positioning of the fingers here. For some people it might feel better for them to be pointing forwards. Other people, you might prefer to point the fingertips out to the sides. So play around, see what feels best. Maybe you get a little bit of airtime. Maybe you don't. All part of the fun either way. Maybe you can unravel the legs in the air. Oop, I cannot. <laughs> Straighten them. Drop the legs down. Drop the knees, drop the hips, press back into a child's pose. Take a few deep breaths. Wave it back up into a downward dog, just to transition, not here for long. Then again, see if you can step, hop, jump, float. That was not my smoothest, but we got there, so it doesn't matter. Bend the right knee in underneath you this time. Plant the left foot on the earth. Bring the hands around the left shin to help you broaden through the chest. Then hands underneath the sole of the foot. Straighten the leg, kick it into the hands, lift the chest. Release the grip on the leg, keep it lifted, reach the arms forwards. Right hand onto the outside of the left foot, left arm out behind you, find your twist. Release the grip on the right foot, the left foot, keep it lifted. Bring the hand back onto the foot, deliver the foot into a half lotus. Then maybe bring the right foot onto the top of the left hip for full lotus, if it feels supported in your body. Again, press the hands into the knees to help you draw the shoulders down, lift the ribs away from the hips, lengthen the spine. Then plant the hands either side of the hips. Maybe you get a little bit of air time. Drop yourself back down, then rock back so that you can rock forwards. Maybe keep both hands on the floor, maybe lift one hand. Maybe lift the other hand, 
for a single second. Woo! Maybe you fall, have fun, get back into it. Then if you want to try the arm balance, keep rocking forwards, place the hands under the shoulders, fingers pointing either forwards or out to the sides, whatever feels best. And hopefully I'm not gonna collide with the cupboards in front of me. As I tuck my elbows into my belly, maybe lift the legs off the floor. You might unravel the legs in midair. <laughs> maybe straighten them. Drop the legs down when you're ready. Drop the knees, hips to heels, hands forward. Balasana, child's pose. Take a few deep breaths. Revisiting the shape where we began our practice. So use this opportunity to check in and observe. Notice the effects of your practice. What has changed in the body? What has changed in the breath? What has changed in the mind? Take this moment to integrate and appreciate everything that you have just cultivated through that movement. Start to lift the torso up and away from the mat. Lift the hips away from the heels ever so slightly. Bring the left forearm onto the earth and then use the right elbow to give that left forearm a little bit of a massage. So working your way up and down, finding little circles, moving from side to side, taking it gentle when you get nearer to the wrist area. Then switch arms, right arm down. Use the left elbow to give it a little massage. If there's any parts that feel particularly tense or tight, you might pause there for an extra little moment. Release. Plant the hands on the earth. Last time in downward facing dog, last opportunity for a jump through, if you fancy it, if not, you can just come to sit down. Then everyone extend the arms straight out in front of you, roll the shoulders down and away from the ears, slowly, 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 start to lower down towards your back, see if I can get there before you, take it super slow. Still going. Still going, still hovering, and then drop it all the way down onto the earth. Maybe release a big sigh as you release the body into the mat. Walk the feet in towards the hips. You might be able to tickle the backs of the heels with the fingertips. Ground through the elbows, but lift the forearms off the floor so the hands are facing each other like you're holding a box above your stomach. Then as you inhale, lift the hips, lift the spine, roll up into bridge. Exhale, melt your way back down. Two more, inhale, ripple up. Exhale, soften. Last time, big breath into lift and pause there. You might stay here or you might start to straighten the right leg, extend it towards the bottom edge of the mat. So dropping the right heel towards the floor at the front of the mat. Then you might start to straighten the left leg as well. So you've got the hips lifted, but the legs are straight. Heels are on the floor, press into the elbows, press into the heels. Inhale, lift the hips even a teeny tiny little bit higher, squeeze the glutes. 
and then start to walk the feet back in, bridge pose. Gently melt the spine, melt the hips back down to the floor. Bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Bring the feet to the outside edges of the mat. Let the knees rest in towards one another. Take a few moments here. Let the spine find neutral. Open the arms out wide into cactus or capital T. Start to windshield wipe the knees from side to side. Maybe you get a little bit further with each repetition. Land over to the right and pause there. Bring right ankle onto the top of the left knee. Pause and breathe. Really starting to wind down and soften now, making our way into our final rest. So with each moment as a as we approach, see if you can let go of a little bit more tension so you can arrive in your Shavasana feeling soft and still and relaxed. Unravel, drop it over to the other side. Place the left ankle on the top of the right leg, adding a little bit of extra traction to deepen the twist. Find stillness, find softness, find breath. Unravel back through centre. Maybe give the knees one last little squeeze into the chest. Have a little rock from side to side, find some circles on the lower back. Maybe a brief moment in happy baby, if that's what's calling to you. One last little hip opener. And then eventually when you feel ready, drop into your final rest, your Shavasana. Whatever shape down on your back feels the most comfortable and relaxing to spend a few minutes in stillness, stillness and silence. Completely surrendering your body into the surface beneath you, releasing any tension that you're still clinging onto, releasing any control over the breath, just letting it flow naturally. Releasing any control over the mind, just letting your thoughts arrive and drift by. Just here for a few minutes to finish off our practice. Take your time to guide your awareness back to the here and the now. If your mind has wandered off somewhere else, reconnect to your breath, bring your awareness to wherever the breath is most noticeable. Find a big inhale 
and a big exhale. Then invite in any movement that feels good. Whatever movement you need to bring yourself back up to your version of a comfortable seated position. We'll close our practice here together with a little bit of breath work. So take your time to arrive and find a comfortable seat when you land. We will inhale for four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four. We'll just do three rounds. I'll count us through it. Let's all exhale together to synchronize our breath, empty the lungs. Then in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Let your breath return to its natural rhythm. A moment here to feel proud of yourself, a moment to feel grateful to yourself for showing up to this practice, grateful for your body, for what it is capable of. For the rest of your day, I hope that you think peaceful thoughts, speak peaceful words and feel peace in your heart. Thank you so much for choosing to share your practice with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. Like I said at the start, I would be so grateful if you could take just a second to give it a big thumbs up, write a comment, letting me know what you thought. It's like I've just had my nails done and I'm showing them off me writing a comment and then subscribe so that we can practice together again very soon. Wishing you a wonderful day.